Prepare to watch the most satisfying video you have ever seen in your life. Silicon pause. Oh my god, so much ahead of us. This is gonna be fun. This video is sponsored by Dragon City. I've never worked with silicon before, but I'm gonna muck around with this today and see how far I can stretch my abilities without checking instructions. All right, so this is, I believe, a one-to-one -one ratio of both. Working time is six minutes, so we'll have molds pretty quick. And I'm gonna make a lot. I can duplicate anything my heart desires. Let's go find stuff to duplicate. Thanos head. These are monster clay and they haven't been immortalized. So I think he's joining us for this video. This looks sick. Did Dave just hew this? <gasps> Perfect. Probably shouldn't. Silicon mold something that's painted. So let's give it a go. Like this little castle thing. The mold for this would be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Hey Dave, uh, do you mind if I had silicon mold make the castle tile of the Hexton Hills? Uh, I work pretty hard on those ones. Is the paint job gonna be okay? Probably. So basically, we want to make like a little box for it. So this is my little box. It fits it pretty bloody perfectly. So now, because it's a one-to-one -one mix, is where I get one and the other one, put them in the same container. Oh, there we go, look at that, isn't that pretty? <laughs> I love it. All right, so apparently you want to suck the bubbles out, uh, because if it has bubbles that sort of touch your thing, you lose the detail. So I need to vacuum chamber out. And I bought a vacuum chamber. Wait, what's the working time again? I have six minutes to set up a vacuum chamber. Crap, that was dumb. All right, that's, so, uh, this is a vacuum chamber set up, time, time set up challenge. I really should have thought that one too. Okay, I don't have the, all right, we'll set up this vacuum chamber for the next one. So I thought it'd be really important to find out what it's like if you don't, vacuum suction out the bubbles. Oh, you planned it. Yeah. So I'm gonna use rocket release to like mold release this. I'll try and aim the bubbles to not go on it. I don't know if that's a thing, it's probably not. It's so weirdly satisfying. That's a lot of bubbles. <laughs> this is our dabble. But to dive, we should build a vacuum chamber. <laughs> So that stops the air getting through, and then this releases the air. Let's just test it by pouring the last of the stuff together. That's definitely gonna have bubbles in it. Suction out those bubbles. There you go, look look at that surface. Wow, look at that go. I think it's meant to do this, pretty sure. But the good news is, this is probably done. All I have to do is get this out. <laughs> look at that. Bloody perfect. That is super satisfying. You can see there's a couple of bubbles, but not a lot. I think this will be fine. Ah, what is this? This is fast set rigid polyurethane. So shake well, so I'm gonna shake well. I'm gonna give it a vacuum. I can already feel the heat in this as it's sort of curing, yes. Uh, it's all right, this is our first one. Oh, and I forgot to spray the mold release. Uh oh. Yeah, no, this one, uh, this one's definitely still a dabble. So this one didn't work very well. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna give this another go because it's too cool to not have a decent version of it. that feels ready to take out. This one's bound to have gone better. Oh, 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 that's pretty good. For a first cast, I think we're looking pretty good. I think we're, this is a go ahead to keep stuffing around. So I jump straight to preparing the next one. The first one seemed to work pretty well. So I'm just gonna follow the same steps, roughly cutting out a little bit of a box to pour the silicon in. This time around my little Thanos head. For those of you who don't remember or haven't seen it, I did a teeny weeny stone sculpture challenge. I sculpted a Thanos head and then a smaller one and then a smaller one and it has a nice flat back which will be perfect because I can just pour straight in from the back. I feel like this one's pretty hard to get wrong. It's just a, like a big round dumb face. Oh, why is that so satisfying? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Look at that. It's one of those things that look at you wherever you go. Well, that's cool. I've got a Thanos mold. Let's plaster this one. I don't have a lot of confidence in this one given that plaster but in its nature has lots of holes and air and stuff. And then the mold itself is uh, looking a bit holy. Set this aside to harden. So let's see how a Thanos head went. Still liquid. I did leave this overnight. So now we just demold our uh, silicon cast. Uh, there we go. Well, it hasn't 
kept. Oh, I actually did settle at the bottom. Oh, we sort of have a Thanos head. I thought the whole thing would have been liquid. We got something. It's not a complete failure. I'm such an optimist. <laughs> that'll dry out, and I think that'll be reasonably okay. It's sort of cool. But I do a, like. I'm gonna do a resin cast and leave it overnight again. I feel like we can get a little fancy with this one. Get our resin part A. So let's spray our release agent. Well, look at all those bubbles. Like if you look in there, I just want to see if doing this gets rid of those bubbles. No. Oh, shit. so that didn't work well. Yeah. Okay. It's probably not what I want to happen, is it? This <laughs> <laughs> resin is everywhere. All right, so let's do this again. Do you know what though? That's not going to be enough. Oh, it's because it exploded everywhere. My bad. Okay. Just going to drop in a couple of things of purple ink. This will color pretty quick. So I'm just going to do a few drops at a time. I've got some spare resin, so I might as well use it. There you go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set those aside and come back to them tomorrow. All right, let's, uh, let's pop out our resin cast Thanos. This is the next day. Well, it's raining. This should be cured now. It looks kind of cool. Like it definitely has most of the details of the original and it does sort of look like an ancient gem relic thing. That's kind of cool. Look into the light. If you look up, he's kind of like a big gemstone. He's the infinity stone himself. That's weirdly cool. And yeah, we have a plastic cast. I can keep mucking around and it doesn't touch the original. All right, next I'm gonna muck around with this dragon head and this is gonna provide a lot of different challenges that we're gonna have to slowly work our way through <laughs> simply because of how complex the shape of the dragon is. And for one like this, it's even more complicated because the way the horns splay, is sort of gonna grab onto the mold unless the face part is probably its own mold. And then I'm thinking it's probably gonna have to be a three piece, meaning we then half this and this. So that the bottom, the neck, and under the head, and all the way up to the top back here is all two pieces. And then we have a cap, which covers the head. So the way I think you're meant to do this, or one of the ways you can do this, is by using monster clay, which I bloody love, because this stuff is impermanent, but can be softened in the microwave, and it's just super workable. Hopefully it's soft enough, there you go. All right, I think I've got a plan. I'm gonna liquefy the rest of this monster clay. Oh, it's very liquid. It's liquid. All right, let's do it. This is a big moment. Let's see if this pays off. So I'm gonna pour liquid monster clay. This will fill underneath and I'm just trying to bring it up to the level of the fin. And same along here, I just want it to meet and kiss. Kiss, now kiss. Ooh, have I been leaking? I have been, but it's fine, because that bit doesn't matter. Okay, so this does have to solidify. The plan should result in a three-piece mold that means I can then pour and cast as many epic dragons as I want and make an army of dragons. And if it doesn't work, then I can't. But I have a backup, which is the sponsor of this video. Dragon City. Dragon City is a free-to-play mobile game where you can collect thousands of dragons with different elements and rarities and build your own dragon empire. You can download with the link in the description. And by using that link, you get a bunch of free starter goodies to get you going. In the game, you need to collect food, gold, and gems so you can grow and tailor your city to reach new levels. You can breed two dragons and get new dragon eggs, hatch them, and feed them to evolve. Then you can train your dragons and take them to battle in order to make them more powerful. Take part in PvP fights in combat and then arena fights where you can challenge your friends and other dragon masters. You can become the member of an alliance and interact with other dragon masters and join exclusive events where you can unlock special rewards. And there are several events every week in a battle pass where you can claim daily prizes and dragons. You'll find the dragons of your favorite YouTubers like Dream, George Not Found, Unspeakable, and others. And you can download the game by clicking the link in the description and get a special free starter pack with 15,000 food and 30,000 gold, plus the Iceling Dragon. How cool is this thing? The game looks really fun. I love the aesthetic. It's super colorful and cartoony, and you can check it out with the link in the description. And a huge thank you to Dragon City for sponsoring this irresponsible video. <laughs> so it's still got to cool, but while it's nice and soft, I'm just going to use some shapers and create some indentations. So by doing this, the idea is it'll create 
grabbing points for the silicon mold so that it can detach and reattach at the same point every time. Let's suction these bubbles, baby. Oh, I'm gonna do a sneaky, you ready? Will this fit? This will fit, check this out. Oh no, it's starting to set. Don't do that. Quick. Chuck it in. Boop. You meant to do this before you pour it, but I, did, I didn't see any other options. Might have not been the way to do it, but if I got rid of bubbles, maybe that'll have helped. Looks a little like moldy porridge, it's fine. To get to the rest of the bottle, I'm gonna have to deconstruct this box. Fun man, I wanted to do this for a while. Cool, and yep, yeah, okay, there we go. That looks pretty solid to me. So, this is the first time I'm pouring silicon against silicon, and apparently, the way to make sure it gets unstuck is to put Vaseline on there. Silicon time. Let's reveal what we got. That's the front of the head. So I've got a two part mold. Now I just need to do the third part. Now we're running low, but apparently if you are just shy of the pour being the right height, you can use offcuts of silicon to sort of like build up the silicon pour to go over the areas you need. So it's good holding on to the offcuts. Now we've got to bodge the frame. I mean, carefully create the frame. <laughs> it's not like liquid tight. But if I just grab some of this and shove it in some gaps, I'm sure that'll probably do something. All right, silicon time. I am starting to run low. Mix it up. So let's pull this thing apart and see if it works. This is, I feel like this is pretty ambitious for my first try with silicon. A three part mold of a fairly complex dragon head. Okay. And it looks like I have a three part mold. And the idea is I reconstruct the mold like this, hold it together with rubber bands and then pour in there. And I have a dragon head. Let's see how it, Pause. Do our first pour. Coming back the next day, let's see how our three part dragon mold went. <coughs> oh, that's a good head. Look at that, that turned out great. <gasps> Not bloody bad. Again, you know, bit of cleanup required, but I think once I learn some of the fine tuning elements, I'll be a lot more confident. But I have to say, come on guys, attempt one. It makes me want to like paint a wash in it to fill in some of the details. I'm gonna do it, I can't help myself. It's fairly sharp, hot looking crimson, bit, bit of pink in it. And then just run over the surfaces with the paper towel. Just a really rough effect, but I think this will just help give it that little bit of punch. <laughs> Love it. At last, we arrive to our grand finale. We have learned so much so far about making silicon molds and pouring into them, mostly what not to do. But taking that information, I'm gonna see if I can turn a treasured actual artwork into something that will immortalize it forever. Now, I'm gonna try and do this one as a one piece cast. I've got my box and I've got my head. Probably gonna have to cut 
the back of the head because then we won't lose the detail of the ear and then it could be like a little wall mount thing and that means whatever I'm casting will fall and flow directly into the details first so the front of the face and the mouth the mouth is another challenge because as you can see a huge cavity of the mouth and if that was all done with silicon it's going to rip out the silicon every time I pull out so I need to actually fill the mouth before I put it into the mold <laughs> It's just gonna start to set reasonably quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this. This is the one I'm gonna debubble. And then I'm gonna pour between the bubble and debubble mix. I'm emergency shoving monster clay in here. This is not the way to do this. <laughs> it's not a tutorial, I repeat. This is not a tutorial. I should have measured. Why didn't I measure, Gareth? Oh no, it's hard. Wait, silicon offcuts. Wait, I'll make silicon offcuts. Aha, I'm a genius. Oh, no, that was still setting. Crap. <laughs> You've ruined it. I've ruined it, it's all right. I just, I'd rather have this one work. Oh my God. <laughs> this is fine, this is meant to be like this. this is, <laughs> I love the lumps of monster clay spread throughout. It's fantastic. We're still gonna pour into it and see how it goes. Our last silicon mold. It's not the most elegant thing I've ever made, <laughs> but it might work amazingly well. Don't judge it. There you go. Oh, I lost his ear, but I've actually got the head. That's fixable. I gotta be honest. It looks like it might have worked. Let's start with UV resin. So I'll pour that and then I can make sure it's spread, get rid of bubbles and then cure it straight away. But then we'll do a deeper pour with uh, the mixed resin that we'll leave overnight and uh, see if we end up with something cool. <sighs> Let's see if my vampire mold worked. Oh my God! <gasps> Yes! That works really well. All right, now you may not agree with my methods, but my results speak for themselves. That's not bad. And I think a pretty fitting finale for the attempt that I was trying to make. Oh, how satisfying is that? Especially with like light through it here, look at that. How cool is that? Now, because the surface most resin is UV cured, so it's actually clear, on the surface, you can see through his nose, little clear nose. But it does make me want to add a little bit of detail pop with some ink. There you go. My vampire. That works really well. <laughs> And that is the story of how these lovely little silicon blocks can enable the replication of anything your heart desires when you figure out how to do it properly, which I still have to do. But you know what? This was fun. Dragon City is also fun, the sponsor of this video. Make sure to get your 15,000 food and 30,000 gold and the Iceling Dragon linked in the description. And make sure to get yourself more awesome videos on this channel by hitting that subscribe button. Join me in the future. Otherwise, that's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.